Good morning, Indira Shah here. Uh, today I'll be making a very different way of rasam. Okay, rasam I think uh, mostly all South Indians will be preparing every day besides sambar or you know anything. Rasam rice is a must. And especially for we Ayers, the Palghat Ayers or uh, Tamil Nadu Ayers, rasam is a must. And today I'll be making rasam using this star fruit here. You know, star fruit, this is the season for star fruit. And uh, we as children, we used to eat it, uh, you know, with salt and pepper. But today I thought I'll make rasam using this because this is quite sour. Uh, when it is green, it is more sour. When it turns to, uh, to yellow, that is when it ripens, then, uh, you know, it is little sweet also. So what you need to do is... You have to boil, I have taken about uh, 8, uh, uh, what to say, star fruit and I boiled it using water, squeezed and filtered it here. See, you can hear. This is filtered and squeezed star fruit here. Okay, and to this, to this filtered water, star fruit water, that is star fruit juice, I have added a cup of uh, cooked dal okay arhar dal that is to wear dal i cooked mashed and added today i cannot show you everything elaborately because i have sprained my leg there's a uh, ankle uh, braces on my uh, leg on my foot and doctor has asked me not to strain my foot much so i'm sitting in the chair here and uh, doing the video okay now i have taken this yeah, I have strained the water. I have also added, uh, uh, what to say, cooked mashed dal. And then what we need is, here, besides this, we also need tamarind juice according to your taste. And then uh, the important thing is rasam powder. Here, if you don't have rasam powder, you add more of uh, jeera powder and pepper powder. Besides rasam powder, I also have jeera powder and rasam powder because this will enhance the taste of the rasam. Mm -hmm. And this is salt, this is turmeric and two green chilies split. I have just cut them into half and mm -hmm. kept it. Curry leaves, then this is coriander leaves. Don't cut the coriander leaves uh, with the help of a scissors or a knife. You can just use your finger and then cut them into pieces. And this is jaggery. Jaggery is a must uh, to enhance the taste because the taste of the sour uh, and this thing, uh, you know, this jaggery enhances. And this is the salt and rasam powder. Now what I would do is, I will add everything to this uh, uh, dal and the star fruit juice. Here, I am adding the tamarind juice. Sitting on the chair, I am doing this. Here, add it to the dal water. It's not the dal water, dal itself. I have taken a cup of dal, cooked it well, mashed it and add it to this uh, juice. Now, add everything to this. Everything. I have added everything to this uh, steel container. Now I'll keep it for boiling. When it's about to boil, add asafoetida. Okay, and then a tip. For rasam, besides a piece of jaggery, always add a spoon of sugar. You know, that will enhance the taste. Now let's allow this to boil completely. Here, the star fruit rasam is boiling well. Let it boil for a few more seconds, maybe two to three seconds. And uh, we need to garnish well, I'll just show you. Here, I have put off this towel because enough of boiling. I'll bring it down now. Yeah, the star fruit rasam is complete. Now let me just garnish it. Here, in an iron kadai, 
I'll be garnishing because uh, try to use iron kadai as much as possible. And here I have put, uh, I have taken ghee, a spoon of ghee. I added mustard, asafoetida, curry leaves, then uh, a spoon of uh, jeera and red chilli, whole red chilli. Okay. Now let me just dip it. You can dip it like this here because you have to get the required iron for your body so now garnishing is over now the next step is just drink it like a soup or add it to a cooked hot rice i'll show you